Well, we're doing an actual elo hell now. So we're doing black star today, gold one, 1650 MMR. At first glance, I was like, eh, I don't know. Cause like these games aren't looking too hot. But then I, I went to the next page and I was like, oh, okay. And he said he's somewhere at a high diamond, like diamond one in the masters, like going on masters. So we felt a game with diamond players. Uh, there's, I think one or two diamond, like four and three, like diamond four, diamond three, two or three diamond ones. And then a bunch of masters players in this lobby. He's jungling for the blue team. It is black star. See what he's got. See if he's an elo hell gamer. Will he be the first? I'm still sitting here waiting for the first person because the second the first person shows me they're an elo hell, I'm going to play with them. I'm going to queue with them and I'm going to get them to their rank because if they deserve to be there, I'm going to get them there and see if they can hold it. All right, team comps. He's playing Pele. They got a Rama, a Herc, and Agni in a fast air. Iron on his patented Agni. Set is not playing Yorm. That's interesting. I like blue team's comp. Red team's comp is a little all over the place, but it's really good. That comp is, there's so much damage and control in that comp. Blue team might struggle here just because of the overall control on, uh, on red team. <laughs>watch xqc i watched him the other day playing some like 2d hockey game nobody else was playing the game he was the only lobby in the whole game but pe and people aren't gonna start playing it because he's on it like that's not how that that's not how marketing works all right we got black star jungling against an awelix he's got an interesting matchup here that team comp is kind of filthy with the uh the multiple knockups on red team and then item wise we have normal starts i need to move everybody around sorry i was too caught up in speaking and we're good there we go let's see what black star has got let's see if he can commit 1600 mmr gold player saying he's a diamond masters player slap shot rebound i don't know if that was the game he was playing maybe it was They can't hit LCS players. Okay, you're not listening. They need to hit the streamers that are streaming to 5K and under people. Oh, his timing was off. I like the idea, but you can't do that with an Agni. Agni has like no follow up at level two. You gotta wait for level three. Kind of a bad choice. So once again, I'll repeat this because you don't know how to listen. They need to target League of Legends streamers with 5k or less viewers. Have them consistently play Smite over the course of a month. See how that does first. And right now is a good time because LCS is going through a controversial time. There is potential for LCS to die in NA, which means Smite could and should start targeting those players for NA MOBAs like League. Will it die in other regions? Hell no. But if they pull all support, oh, that's rough. That's rough. He's fighting this. He's dead again. You can't go for left mids by yourself. I think a lot of people like Blackstar right here aren't recognizing their mid laner and what the matchup is. A Echel and an Awelix have some of the most damage and damage avoidance in the game in mid lane. And very good clear. He has an Agni. Agni has nothing. No team fight, no clear, nothing. I did not say 500 before. I said 5k. I said 5,000 before. You can, go, I, you can pull up the stream. Thank you, Knights of Blood, backing me up for saying I said 5k. Maybe you heard 500. Maybe you should learn how to listen. Why would I tell high res to go sponsor people with 500 viewers? I would never say that. Like, why would, why would I want, want people with 500 viewers getting sponsorships? That wouldn't help grow the game at all. I like how your response is, yikes, k by instead of saying, my bad. Learn how to fucking own up. If you can't say you're wrong, you're not much of a, a man or a human being in general. There you go. Much better response. You say something like that, I instantly don't care that you said it. Say, my bad, misheard. Congrats, thank you. That's a, that should have been the initial response. Yeah, people will be like, oh, weekend's being roasted. No, I'm just, you don't put words in other people's mouths. That's, that's a quick way to ruin every relationship you have.
That's like my biggest pet peeve in the world when people do that shit. And I'm streaming, so at least I can clip it. But I hate when people say that shit. I just said 50 viewers. All right, Riley, you can't stay at my house anymore. All right, so he's on the back foot here because he died twice early, which I respect the idea of falling back a little bit and not dying anymore and playing more for a counter gank, but he has to get good vision out to do this. So if he doesn't get good vision and he's not able to be there right for a counter gank, he's there looking for invades right now. Oh, I don't know if he saw them. Oh, he's right behind you. He had, you heard the ward, right? He's right beside you. The Oelix is pinging it. Oh my gosh, he's getting hunted and doesn't know. How did you not hear that ward go down? So he knew he's here. This is a big commitment. He's got no beads. And this will be a turn from the Oelix. Oh, good kill. Wait, actually a good kill. I think he's in trouble. Best continent banter on Twitch. Keep it up. That flip did so much damage. That's just a full Jotun's. Goodness gracious, that did a lot of damage. What about the right? Thank you for the 24 months. What well, player is the closest to being in Elo Hell? Um, he, I did an Agni video with him, and then like two days ago, we did another video with him on uh, on. Did he play Agni again? Yeah, I think he played Agni again. Agni mid twice. That did 35. percent That was an Awelix ulted two flip max flip on somebody he has a two level lead on, right? Oh no, only a one level lead on. Just Yoden's pen. Yeah, this Awelix is huge. But he's huge because of his decisions as Pele. Him going in 1v2 and mid at level 2 was not... was like, uh, The idea is cool, but it's not a good matchup to do it. So he threw all of the lead to Awelix at that point. And then he went for left mids. You can't go for left mids in that situation if your mid laner doesn't have control of the lane. And it's an Agni. He's just not going to get control right now. Pretty much only fight with Agni mid if the other team messes up. You don't force blink a fight. And then level five, you can do whatever you want, but one to four, you'd never force blink it. Thor is insanely good right now. Thor has played a lot in ranked. Oh, this should be a free kill. He's gonna all for it right away. He might die. He actually might get turned on if Horus, no, Horus didn't get in. Abyssal stone? Uh, is Abyssal stone the one that increases cooldown? I don't know that he would have killed Echel there. It would have been close, but if Echel twos herself, then she definitely lives because it'll CC the Pele. Reduces CDR? You mean it increases CDR, right? Or sorry, it, yeah, reduces cooldown reduction, increases cooldown. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know how much of an impact that would have on most games, to be honest. There's just better items. They'd have to stat it to the point where the stats are undeniable to build an item like that. I feel like. The way solo and support lane work, those, that, those kind of items just don't fit. Is he, what, is he a level bind? Oh, he's too low. This is where the gap can't, you don't want it to increase. He, if he messes up again, he's going to be four levels down. Like if he goes in like that and dies, four levels down. Oh my gosh. Iron Alloy just tried to 1v1 the, the Echel and died. Uh, most of the players in this game are masters. There's a couple diamond, but most are masters. This player we're watching is gold 1600 and he said he was a high diamond masters player. The thing right now though is he's losing the game for his team. Or for himself. Like, it's not like he's being outplayed. He's just messing up. His awareness is a little low. But he's just messing up. The gold player is rigid. Alright. As he gets a kill, dude. He's so dead. He did zero damage to that Awelix. Oh my gosh. He's still stacking his soul eater. Woo. 
Have I done EU elo hell? No, nah, I, I can't fill an EU lobby. I don't think. Definitely not in the in the one rank. I don't mind his build to be honest. Uh, Soul leader Pele is fine. Now, Soul leader, when you fall behind this early, loses most all of its value. But so would a Jotun's because he can't force a fight. Soul leader first though is fine. Those are talking like it's a problem. Pele has high base damage. It's not going to make a difference in winning or losing or having a good early game. Yeah, I think it's the same power as Jotun's. Gives them sustain and gives them percent pen. So it scales better into the late, obviously, but you can't die three times before you finish the item. This is why I don't like Pele. Once you're in to a spot, you're in. For you to play Pele, you have to be very comfortable using your ult to get out. You have to know when to use it to get out, and you gotta just position better throughout the whole map than most assassins. He might be able to kill this guy. If he was three in here, he kills him. Wh what? Okay, his 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 ability order was horrible. All he had to do was knock up the dude bees, he wins and autos, and if the guy dashes, he ults. He made dies anyway, and he would have his ult for this. He could have had his ult up there. I think Sugiomi and Pele are very similar, and I don't think they're that great. I think they're really average. Yeah, Elo Hell signups are available right now for the night. Wait, Soul Leader is flat pen now? When did they change that? That makes it better early, shit. Wait, you have to stack Soul Leader to get flat pen? What? Or is the flat pen right away? Is the flat pen instant? No, the flat pen's gotta be instant then, right? What? That makes no sense. Like for percent pen, that makes sense because it's gonna take you a bit to get the, the stacks up. So by then, percent pen has more value. I want flat pen. I want it right away. I didn't even know they changed that. Oh my gosh, that's such a random item to just mess with for no reason. High res on drugs. Oh, it is instant. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good. Thank God. I was gonna say that's crazy. You guys got me fucked up. So like, Hyrus is definitely drunk. 2 to 11. This is a really close game. You know what I've noticed so far? Okay, he lived a lot longer than I expected. Oh my gosh. That was Soul Eater keeping him alive, boys. You're welcome. Oh, if they win this because of Soul Eater, all of you are smelling my balls. All of you that said, I want to go Soul Eater. <laughs> well, you're bronze. They win the fight. Now they have a comeback potential. If they come back and win this game, it's because he's better than you guys. Rampage. All right, never mind. His arc's still getting solid. Feels bad. That was a really good commit. I am actually surprised he lived through that. I don't know how he lived through that. Horus combo makes you take so much damage. Unless Horus isn't leveling the right ability. No, he's leveling the right ability. So if you didn't know, this reduces your protections by 30. So as soon as he twos the Pele, the Pele is running around with 20 physical prots. And then the Cern's hitting him, right? Who's got, he's got pen, yeah. Yeah, he's got double gloves. So <laughs> he had five defense right there in that fight. The Pele had five physical, oh, all right. Keep it the, yes, good use of a, he's on boys, he's feeling it. He's feeling it. Come back, baby. If you didn't throw the early game, imagine. Imagine if you didn't throw the early game with really bad decisions. You will to me. What's his level looking like? One level down on the four. He's four, zero, and four, and he's only a level down. Is Hark still good? I think so. It's a little bit less forgiving with the cooldown changes and the three changes, but still really strong.
whoever shuts down a Wheelix, if they do it before, like in the next fight before they fall behind, it's going to be very, very good for them. And they just keep killing the Hercules, who's already out of the game. All right, he's messing up here. His team is collapsing on right. He sees the pings. He sees everything going on. He's going left. So I, I understand what it is, is he has... Oh, he can peel. He blinked a little early. He should have waited to get closer to blink. Oh, 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 he's rich. He is rich, boys. He's up there. He's rich. This is kind of a bad fight. Wait, never mind. The collapse. His team's all here. They got the stun. He's got the combo. He's going on the right targets. His targeting is glorious. The Hercules trolling. Bro, these are a bunch of Masters players getting smacked around by a gold Pele. Okay, this fight is going to be a lot. This might be him inting. This is him throwing the whole lead. Wait, the PO from the Agni over the wall. He, is, he should not be going into this. What are you doing? <laughs> Dude, you just got such a big lead. Wait, okay, he lives. He lives. They're afraid to dive him. He's gigantic, boys. He's the same level as the Wheelies now. His team is coming back. He He's just... Ty Gold! Sphinx's bobble is a really, really bad item. There's no god in smite where you need that much CDR on him. That's the problem. You guys are like, well, I have instant abilities. That doesn't matter. That's great. You do still realize that there is a, a GCD, like a global cooldown timer, basically, where you have to wait for that ability to go around again to use it again, right? Because you don't have two charges on it. You have to still wait that half a second, which is no different than a second because you're using that time to move around. On a support or somebody with longer cooldowns, maybe. But even then, you're talking about overlapping and getting just just uh, just getting cooldown overlapped, and your shit's not gonna last. It's gonna be pointless. Old bobble where I brought it up to sixty. Then you're definitely looking at putting that on gods with just high cooldowns, where you don't do any autoing, you don't do anything other than spam your really high cooldowns like a kumba Karno, which that's a good example of a god that i wouldn't mind seeing it on really but you start overlapping your mezes and stuff and it's worthless anyway you also lose out on a lot of other stats by going those items because bobble doesn't have much other than that. oh the catch on the awelix that was a good herc play that was a really good herc rotation his team's reacting this is the first oh this is the first jungler who's grouping with his boys okay he just full committed to this his team's not here <gasps> Oh my gosh, I actually like the way that fought, fought. His team didn't rotate. Bro, that's uh, actually, that's not on Pele. That's on Iron. Hold on. What was Iron Alloy doing here? Bro, what are you doing? This is horrible play from Iron. All right. If you are playing mage here, it's fine for him to walk up and want to bomb over the wall. He's never, you're not, a, you're not an assassin. Fall back into position where the mage should be. You would have been able to help Pele. You would have killed Hades. You guys would be getting pyro right now. I don't blame Pele for this at all. I 100% I like, yes, you should be able to look at your map. If as Pele, I'd be like, oh, my team's not coming. Let me ult out. But his team should have been following up. If you're going off what they should have been doing, and not what they were doing. His Agni should have been there. I've infected most of them. This is why positioning as your role is very important. If the mage and the hunter were in the back line, which is where the Pele was, then they would have gotten a free kill on Hades instantly. Hello? Hey, Pele's still dead? There we go. Build check. He's going to build that I, I think he just asked. He was like, 
do you think soul eater into jotun's and then he had his other items it's good i was like well jotun's second is kind of pointless at that, at that point if you really want to go soul eater just go erendite and then go hydras oh no he's not going hydras he's going a different build i think hydras is nuts all right he's he's falling back a little bit he's a level down again though off of that death which is disappointing uh, he's died a lot like five deaths a lot of deaths but it is pele it's how it works out but five deaths a lot so if his damage is probably higher yeah because he's inting for it i don't know think he would uh, he might have been knocked up there i don't know i don't know if that was a good beads it wasn't a bad beads but i don't know if it was a good beads. oh his awareness he's actually a okay hold up i'm lost in the sauce here boys i'm lost in the sauce here he should have walked forward this is risky oh i'm so glad he got out he should have walked in. Uh, he didn't want to die to hades i i respect it he probably should have gone in though everything he's doing now his early game was butt cheeks but after the eight minute mark or ten minute mark his play is perfect Everything he just did was perfect. He didn't look like a potato trying to figure out what he was doing. It looked like he knew what he was doing. Blink, blink, blink. And as I hype him up, he screws up. As soon as that happened, he should have reaction blinked out. He knew they were coming. He should just reaction blinked over the wall. And got out. Very unfortunate. He is not cooking anymore. He's definitely undercooked right now. <sighs> Do you have brawlers here? Yeah, he has brawlers. They have a Hades and each L and a Horus and a CERN. They have four people healing. And he has a brawlers. That brawlers pick up a smart. Yeah, his team is solid. They have anti-heal, anti-heal, anti-heal. And if Set was good, they would have had an Ankh here instead of a... Uh, probably instead of a Belt of Berserker, they'd have got an Ankh. Oh. Oh! Oh! He's gonna jump over the wall. Agni clean up. Nice! Oh my god! I wonder if he full committed there knowing Agni had the cutoff because... If I didn't have faith in the Agni, there's no world I'm full committing there, like, blindly. Counter ward the gold. Yes. He even bought a counter ward. I, okay, this is not a burn. This is a kill. This is a... This is a fight, boys. Oh, you're insane. They got it, but he's dead. Oh! Oh! Wait, he's horse? No, the, oh! He's out. Back, back right away, back right away, back right away, back right away. He's gonna go farm because he wants to heal off the farm, but he should back. He can get back to the pyro and defend it. Oh, his team's winning the fight? Oh, yeah, they had no Wheelix. That's right. That was a crazy burn. Whoever called that, I would have rather you they fought because they would have stomped them in a 5v4, but at least they committed to something. Now, now they probably get pyro, though. If he backs, he can defend pyro by himself. But serrated okay i hope he goes hydra's last or not hydra's last sorry heart seeker last but uh i don't know they have best pyro crazy how i saw the future that's why you back right away if there's other stuff up if he backs right away he defends pyro if he doesn't back right away he gets more farm but he didn't even commit to farming the right wave so he could have gotten way more farm He's also not been killing these side creeps as, eh, he's, yeah, like as much as I'd like. like why not kill that creep? This is by far the best player I played. If he has a solid fight in the late game here, I'll say he's in Elo Hell. Because this is, there's people in 2600 MMR, 2700 MMR here. This is not a baby game. Like he's playing up a thousand MMR against some of these people.
Actually, I think the 2600 MMRs is Herc. I think. I think Repent is also high MMR, but I don't remember. Where do you go serrated instead of Bane? I only go Titans Bane on gods that are like instant burst gods. Like your whole kit comes out right away. Where Pele has an extended period of time doing damage. Most junglers ext like have extended damage out. And Titans Bane isn't the go-to. This is good. I like the flank positioning. He didn't get his ult off. He did. Oh, the life steal. The life steal. <laughs> that was a good fight. Good job. I like his flank positioning there. Um, Serrated has movement speed. Serrated just has a way better stats. Almost every item in Smite that has four stats plus an actual passive is an OP item. He needs to help his team. He's disengaging, but he's going to need to turn and help. Heal off backs. Oh, no. He's being chased. Smart. The Willis was looking for him. His awareness is up there. Some of the highest awareness I've seen out of anybody. And I was saying earlier, it seems like the junglers... I don't know if I actually finished this thought. Junglers in the ELO Hell series struggle the most because when they mess up, their team gets fully affected. And like a mid laner messes up, their jungler could still be playing the game and having a solid game around the sidelines. Or keeping the sidelines up. The jungler falls behind in ELO Hell, their team is screwed. Who do you see? I'm gonna play with him on my if he had if if his last fight, if he if he doesn't just insta die in the rest of the fights this game, I'm gonna play with him. I'll play mid lane and let him juggle. No more Diablo? I'm playing Diablo at eleven. Playing Diablo at eleven. I've been having a lot of fun. I tweaked my build a little bit more today. Bro, the Kali in today's YouTube video was the worst player. No offense if you're in here. I'm sorry, but mechanically, you were the worst mechanical player I've ever seen in my Elo Hell series. I I watch people at seven and eight hundred MMR with better mechanics than you. Oh, you're a beast, Cryptic. I appreciate it. Yeah, let me know. I'll, I'll go in that after this. You're a fucking legend. That was smart. You chose Street Fighter 6 over Diablo. I knew you. I knew if you were last night when you talked about it, you didn't know which, which to pick. You weren't going to go Diablo. I think Diablo is worth, though. It's a game that you can play as a casual player. You can play it like a single player, like a true single player game, even though it's got an open world of a most stylish to this one, to this Diablo. Solo D4 is fun. You don't need anybody to play with. You level a bit faster with a group, and I just like play video games with friends. I'm not a big solo, like play with myself kind of person, but you do not need friends to play the game. I want to see how he uses this counter ward. Okay. His team needs the group so he doesn't get collapsed on right here. He doesn't have his blink up. That was risky. So his positioning right now is really bad. He needs to get side positioning. He really should be in the mid lane. But I'm pretty sure he's afraid to take a one on one because he has no beats. Or he's just afraid in general. I don't know which. Who's not behind it? Oh. I appreciate him going for that, but you can't miss. You can't miss. He should have just waited. He needed more patience to wait out his beads. He absolutely needed to wait out his beads coming up. Nice. That was good. Kind of sucks they lose their beads there. Doesn't matter that he took everyone's ults. He was super out of position, so his team couldn't follow up. You can't be like, all oh, their ults on me after you dove to the other side of the fucking map and missed every ability and didn't kill anybody with while you dove. All they had to do was wait on beads and he can kill that guy even while missing his ult. Oh, this is a kill. This is a kill. This is a kill. That's good. They can defend fire. They have a front line and a really high damage mage. They should defend this. It sucks that Agni had a late beads there, though. Okay, I don't like him wasting his dash. I know I'm not coaching iron here, but him wasting his dash is bad. I'm going to swap the Paley when he gets closer, but I'm going to watch this until then. That's good damage. They're looking to fall onto the Agni. Pele is almost back. This is good. He wants them on Herc. This is perfect. All right, Pele's here. 
They didn't do big pilot fire the Dumpyro. No. no? Oh no. Isn't that the point of a good workout? The healing Jotuns would have been hard here. Only if they're not building anti heal, which they are. They're building a lot of it, but he has divine. I, I think that Jotuns is a bad item, second, my personal opinion. If you're going to commit to Jotuns, go first. I know in my builds on Smite Source, I have Transcendence Jotuns, but that's not for this meta we've fallen into with the crazy comebacks. I need to change it, but I'm waiting for the next patch to update. We're in a, we're in a meta right now. You guys gotta understand, we're in a meta where. Committing the early game isn't bad, but it's way more valuable to commit to late game. So having a build that peaks in the 20 to 30, 35 minute mark is just way more valuable. You're also talking about healing Jotuns. You're going Jotuns, that has 40 power on it. So if you're going to go 40 power, get more stats on the item. I feel like I hate that Jones has no passive like the cooldown is the passive He should be looking to poke with his one oh, Behind you That's really bad they just let him do it without contesting His positioning to enter these fights is really bad He's doing we had a player do this the other day. I I think it was the coach on the Susano the other day. I'm like, bro, you just run at them and they can see you coming. You can't face blink onto carries. If you are a assassin and you blink in front of a hunter or a mage, you are already being hit before you get anything off. You blink in front of a hunter who's already holding left click, you're taking two autos before you get any real damage off. So you can't be doing that. Oh my gosh, he just got melted. Each of us broke. Does he live? Wow. That's not too bad. They only lost one pyro or one phoenix. Yeah. Oh, it was the Kali that was doing it. I thought it was the Susano. I think it was the Susano. <sighs> what are my thoughts on this Faf? He seems to be struggling. Set is struggling. Why is he struggling? He's playing support. He's engaging on people. I think more of the struggle right there was I don't know if the Fafnir didn't go in, but I thought he was in and the, the carries didn't play up. They just let him get fire for, for absolute free. It's, it's crazy to me. I do think part of that. I don't know if the carries that uh, the Agni and the Rama were even looking to go in, but with Pele not flanking, there's no pressure on the enemy team's backline to back off even more like to fall out of that fire giant pit. He went Thieves in that late, shit. Eh, I mean... I don't know. They should have lost that last fire. I don't think that had anything to do with how bad, like, him having a bad game or his build. As soon as they gave him that fire for free, they threw, and now Iron getting picked is throwing. Like, this is, this is just troll behavior from people. We need to learn how to play better. What up, Chip? You, yeah, you got a little wee-wee, huh? Thank you for the 79, Chip. You went 32 and 0 yesterday. I'm getting much better for a roller player. 32 and 0 in a game? I thought you were 32 and 0 in ranked. I was like, oh my gosh. Nobody excited for the new god? I thought we weren't getting a new god with this next patch. Oh. Yeah. Him having magi's there just makes that 1v1 trash. That's crazy. Nobody wants to secure the ELO hell status, I swear. Because his early game was horrendous. His middle game was awesome, and his late game is trash. So if we're going off of like a scorecard, 
he's not in elo hell but i think he's good enough to play be a diamond player as he's gold gold one i think i think he should be a diamond player so i'm gonna say he's elo hell but he's making it a hard argument to be honest See, that's the thing. Diamond, gold one to diamond is nothing. That's not Elo Hell. That's two wins and you're, you're or sorry. Gold one to plat is nothing. That's a couple wins and you're in plat. That's not Elo Hell. That's just, you know, go play 30 games and you're probably going to be in plat. Um, diamond is where we start talking about Elo. He's probably in Elo Hell, but it'd have to be high diamond. He'd have to be diamond one. Is he diamond one Masters player? I think he could be. I think he needs some coaching to get there to be more consistent. But I think he he's definitely not far off the coaching is that he doesn't need a ton of coaching game's not over yet so maybe he'll figure something out here he's got to start flanking he's got a position to flank on this fire if he won't position to flank they can't win the game They gonna contest it? He's not flanking again. They don't have fire right now. You're giving up fire for free and you're not flanking. I don't know if him, Rama, or Herc just got it, but if they get out of this, Herc's probably gonna die. Or whoa, wait, how did he just popped off? Fight! 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 They win this! I don't even care that he dies. I don't even care that he dies. That was a bad engagement from him. They need to back and defend the base. They need to defend the base. Agni sees it. They're good. All right. He was a little too late to going in. And I do think his targeting was a little bad. He should have pre-beed. Here's a quick little tip for you guys. If you're in the end game of a smite match, pre-beading is more valuable than, than just, you know, dying would be like obviously the diamond beads up or holding your beads to the right moment just pre-beads he should have blinked beads instantly so he couldn't get cc got his damage off and full committed off of that because he knew he was going all in so you either die there and get some kills or you die there and the enemy team gets the kills right there's your beads are irrelevant that they're down you might as well use them His targeting was a little forced into that blink, but he did blink in and get in there. He struggles with his positioning though in these team fights. Why are you playing an assassin and not flanking? That should be the most natural positioning for you as a as a jungler or an assassin player. To just literally try to loop coming behind them or from the side. All game, all day long. It should be the way to play. Exclamation mark elo hell to sign up. It's only for tonight. Everyone obviously won't get picked for the specific elo hell, but you can always join a match if I'm when we're filling the matches. He didn't lose his matches on fire. He would have popped off there or he had beads up, right? He could have just pre-beads. He should have just pre-beads. That's something you decide while you're going in, by the way. That's not a reaction thing. You aren't like, all right, I'm going in. Oh crap. I need to pre-beat. No, you're like, I'm going to blink and beads here and just full commit. Oh shoot, I'm not on Pele. My bad. We're good. Nothing, nothing missed. Nothing's happening. They don't have any pressure here. They got Phoenix, but they're 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 taking their time to regroup. What's this build? He's seven and ten. He's died so much. What's the damage? This Agni has to be stomping. Oh yeah, he's still up there on damage, but he's died so much. Like you have ten deaths, you should be up there on damage. A lot of people don't realize there's a there's like the correlations that correlation that's the right word correlation there where if you're going in and dying you're getting damage off where people who aren't going in and dying aren't doing damage during that time so them having a lower damage but lower deaths is way more valuable than you having higher damage and higher deaths that's last item what did he go now that's fine uh you have to realize on supports you can go two damage items and still have cap defense so he's just going a supporty item to be annoying. I think he'd have gotten got better with getting a cooldown item to get all because he has long ass cooldown. Wait, how much cooldown does he have? Ten, twenty. Hey, is, that, is that no? He's a thirty percent cooldown. He never mind. He didn't need it. Oh. 
That's huge. That's actually huge. That was, that was a little scary, a little risky, but that's huge. That was close. Fast build is fine. He didn't use beads there either. Relied on the Magi's uh, cloak. I am a fan. Pele is an all-in god. Yeah, you usually go in and take somebody out. And if you do it right, then you instantly kill them fast enough that you can just follow up to the next person. This is where they throw fire, they lose it, and they lose the game. This is what everybody does. Hopefully this is a new story. Watch, you, you know they're behind you. What is happening? He's not using his two. He didn't two. I think he thought he twoed, but he did not two. And they are getting fire. Why did he not two that whole time? If he twos, he kills the Hades. Salzy, I also build rage first and I play circuit. I think it's just better. The problem is you lose pots early. So you have to understand if you go rage first item in the jungle, you cannot fight in mid lane. You can't just, you can only just focus on clearing. You cannot be going for fights and you want to rotate out early. Yo, he just threw, I won't say he threw, but he messed up real bad there, dude. It still does damage even if the CC is immune. Uh, knock up on Pele, yeah. He didn't even two though at all. Like he he, the Hades wasn't ulting yet. He just I think he thought he twoed and he didn't. I think his two got like, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but he didn't two. He could have made a crazy play there. If he just twoed the Hades, he would have been able to fight. Oh, they have fire. This is big. Let's see if he can position right on one of these sieges. I don't think he got silenced. And even if he did get silenced, he should have known he got silenced and then just toot again. It wasn't like he died in a CC. He had a ton of time to use his two. I think his two is hitting for like 700 right now, right? Oh, we can't see the actual numbers. Well, he's hitting for 80% of his physical power. He's got 454 physical power. So he's getting an extra 330, 340, 350 damage in on that. So yeah, that his two is hitting for like 600. Sense does seem a little high. I could be wrong. But sometimes when he's aiming his one out at range, it's just like off. He's a help his Faf out of this. Let his Faf go in first. This is good. This is good patience from him. I like that he waited a little bit, but I still hate that he hasn't flanked a single time in 40 minutes. This team threw a little bit. They have enhanced fire and they're not going to get a Phoenix. That's criminal. It's 4v3. They have to be able to go in here. Sark's full health. He has blink. Who's he going to go on? Nice. Star nice. Speeds. Speeds. He <laughs> oh my gosh. The Rama just saved them a Phoenix. Got them a free Phoenix. That was huge. <sighs> oh. Oh. Did he miss the stun? Oh, he's dead. It doesn't matter. That's huge. Did they end? Did they end this? Oh, they do not end. They, <laughs> they are not ending this. This game is not over. They can't end. Ishell is OP, bro. 
if people are saying anything otherwise because they haven't played it or played somebody good Build. He's been full build forever. He has 12 deaths though, dude. I like his build. And his early soul leader actually saved his life three times as uh, people in chat were roasting it. Namely, Alan. <clears throat> Triple double? I hope not. Oh, we gotta follow the right guy here. Yeah, there's a bunch of masters in this game. I wish he had just had one good late game fight. So I could be like, yeah, he is definitely low hell. Because I'm going to say he's low hell, but it's it's a stretch. He will be a better player after I coach him. He needs like the most micro coaching to be good enough to have very consistent games, I think. Like just ganking from the right spot and stop running face first into people. That's it. That that change alone will change your life. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's right there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, nice. I, he's dead. I like the beads there. His team is doing fire. So that is what it is. His awareness is a little off too. Like he definitely heard each child clearing the wave and saw each child clearing the wave because she was killing creeps. So if he saw that, why did he turn his back to each child? That's definitely game. It's 1v4. His inting is making so much space for his team. Um, I mean, that's not wrong. That's not incorrect, but you don't want to be inting. Inting isn't how you carry games and get out of gold. You don't have a team to rely on in a gold game, but this is a diamond game. Well, diamond actually this is more of a master's game than a diamond game, and he played pretty good. That was the best ELO hell player we've watched. Um, the only person you would match him up with is an Agni, but Agni just let the game come to him and didn't do anything, just kind of existed. He was trying to make plays most of the time. He had a good amount of damage too, but he died 13 times. So like, if you cut out this, if he dies six times, he's not going to have anywhere near 34,000 damage. That's the thing. Uh, so his damage would be closer to like Rama, Hercules. It'd be way lower. Or, yeah, like Rama. Yeah. It, it definitely would have been in like the 25k mark. Are you in here? Where the fuck you at? You are in here. Nice. I had the wrong king by accident. There we go. All right. You suck. I'm just kidding. Your early game was poop. You need to recognize that you had an Agni and you can't fight. It's an Agni. Like, you got to know your matchups a little bit to know when you can go for fights and when you can't. Agni's got one of the worst, like, guaranteed clears and fights. So, watch out for that. Um, when you die early, you're probably not going to get either mid camp. So, just let those go. That's why you got picked the second time. So, those are your first two deaths kind of just gone if you just pay attention to those two things. Your mid game was great. You kept looking for fights. Uh, do you play with sound? Yes, I just don't have headphones in right now. Ah, uh, okay, because like there's a lot of times where you were unaware someone was around you and they would like drop a ward on you, so you should know like, oh, someone just warded around me, someone's here. Um, your late game, your biggest issue in the fucking late game is you do what the Susano did the other day. You don't flank, you don't gank from the side, you don't try to loop behind them, you just run at them and blink right in front of them, so they can react quicker and easier, and they're already hitting you the second you blink. So most of your deaths in the late game would be changed if you would just stop doing that you cannot run straight at somebody like a warrior you've like and i'm not talking about like i'm talking about when you're blinking right in front of them you need to come in from the side you need to come in from behind them so try to loop more kind of the way the awelix was on you guys do that more and you'll have a way better like it now i'm gonna i will say you absolutely should be a higher rank i mean most of that lobby was high master well not high masters was like mid masters in a high diamond um you made it really hard because your early game was ass and your late game wasn't ass, but it wasn't very good. It, it, it wasn't terrible. It, it could have been a lot better very easily. Your mid game was great. So just off the mid game, I can tell you should be a higher rank. You should probably be diamond higher ish. If you do the things I just told you, you should be masters. 
by like very easily. You weren't doing a lot wrong. Your combos were right. Your targeting was right. You just got to stop blinking in front of a mage or a hunter. You make it easy to react if you're standing in front of them. So just don't be seen that way. They That's your goal. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Like, like you had counter wards too, which was sick. Cause if you have a counter ward when you're, when you're going into a situation like that, you counter ward where you're trying to flank from. So they don't know where you are. Um, but that's the big thing is just work on you, that. Well, you did it once on fire. You looped around in the Hades. We got like fucked up and dashed out and you killed them. I don't know if you remember that. That's uh, the kind of position you should have yeah. had, but that just wasn't a real fight. That was you getting a, a nice like cleanup kill. That's the position you need to have more often. You need to be looping. You need to be looking and, and just playing the way you were, but looking at it from a different angle. Oh, the other thing, this is minor. This isn't like you need to do this to be masters. Some of those fights, if you pre beads you would have done way better. So if you're going into a fight when your Magi's isn't up and it's an all-in fight, you're playing Pele or playing a God where you're full committed, just sit, tell yourself like, all right, I'm, if I get CC'd here, we lose. So I'm going to blink and beads. Like I'm just going to blink beads and full commit. Because at that point I'm full committed and if I can do that, just walk away. Yeah, like you pop your beads, you're either going to kill the guy and potentially just run it down or, I mean, it doesn't matter because like you're full committing. So if you don't kill them all, you're going to die. And if you're dead and your beads are down, who the fuck cares? Right? Like, like what was what, what does it matter? So just go ahead and use them. Look for more pre-beads on full commit characters. But yeah, I would say you are probably in some version of ELO hell. It, obviously, there's... I can't see everything. You might be playing other gods you shouldn't be playing. Um, you might just be getting fucked by playing roles that maybe you can't carry from. But you're definitely good enough to play jungle in a high diamond game. By far. Uh, so what I'll say is if you're on when I'm streaming like tomorrow or the next day or whenever I will play and I'll just queue mid and we can play and try to get you into done. Okay. That sounds cool. Yep. So just let me know whenever you're in here, um, like other streams and you're queuing and I'm down to play. If you have any questions, you can let me know now. Um, I do have a quick question. It's about a certain dude while you're here. Um, if one is to go sell a jungle, do you, would you still go Bumba's hammer or do you go I? I'd probably go Bumbus. Because right now, the problem with Smite is you need fast clear in the jungle. It, that's why on Hebo, I go Bumbus too. If you fall behind on clear, you're getting screwed. I saw your games that you played some uh, some jungle Scylla. I realistically, unless your team is heavy fist stacked, I wouldn't play much jungle Scylla. Because you're probably like not having consistent early games, which can make it a little more difficult. But if you get to the point where you're consistent with it, it's fine, I guess. But yeah, I wouldn't go I. Your clear slows down way too much. Okay, cool. Thank yep. you. No problem. If you have any other questions, just throw them my way. Yes, sir. Later. GG's. We did it! We found somebody at Elo Hell! It only took 30 games, 40 videos, and 50 people all lying to me and saying they were Elo Hell and they weren't. Actually, it's more like 500 people telling me they were Elo Hell.